What's up guys? Welcome back to Being Barker. Today's video, I'm going to review four of some big ticket baby item purchases that I made before and or after this guy got here. Uh, so I wanted to review the big expensive ones because I know they're really hard to decide what to get when you're spending that amount of money. So I wanna show you what I actually think about these items. So here we go. Okay, first thing I'm gonna review are my two um, different baby carriers that I have. Okay, so this is a Wild Bird carrier. They're amazing, I really love this one. I've talked about it a little bit before, how it's super easy to get on and off and like not a massive amount of diaper bag space that it takes up. So here's mine, ring sling. Okay, when I filmed this, I was, I just went full tutorial mode. Like I was gonna be the spokesperson for Wild Bird Ring Slings and give you a how to put your baby in here. When I really just meant to show you how easy it is and how fast it is. So while you're watching this, I'm talking you through it. So if I weren't sitting trying to be the spokesperson, I would have been done this a lot quicker. But the whole point of this clip is to show you how easy it is to put these on. And the reason I like it is it's easy to put on quick, not a bunch of buckles and snaps and you just tighten it in one or two spots after you get your baby in and you're good to go. So that's what this clip is meant to show you. Ignore my chattiness. Okay, boom, that took me like five seconds to put him in there. This baby in particular likes to look out a lot. So this sling, this carrier for me is easier when he's like sleepy and whiny and he'll kind of like lay his head down and rest. Otherwise dude likes to be turned out and looking everywhere. So. This one is um, really comfortable, easy for me to get on, and I love it, but big purchase. Um, kind of expensive, but totally worth it. Oh, and how you take them out is easy. You just loosen up your fabric, grab them, and boom, out. Okay, next carrier is the Ergo Embrace. It's beautiful, it's very, very soft and very adjustable, so Ben and I can both wear it. So I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to put on. You take the big strap, put it around your waist. And I usually just keep it, I don't have to tighten it that much because I leave it where I want it. I'm gonna have him facing out because that's how he likes it. So after you get it on your belly, you just take the baby. Thank you, lovely assistant. Take your baby. Put it between their legs. And then this crisscrosses over your back. So you just, I just throw this over my shoulder, grab it here, pull it here, and you snap it right there. Same thing here. Put this over my shoulder, find it here. Use a little fat arm and buckle it right there. And then zip. And this one also can, because it's like real fabricy and stretchy and breathable, you can slide it over your shoulders for like more even weight distribution. Or if it's like totally ruining your outfit, you can just pop it on top of your shoulders. But um, it lays nice and flat over your back, super easy to adjust. It's beautiful, I think. And he, like I said, he really likes facing out. This one's also easy for Ben to get on and off and it looks way less girly. I think I mentioned in one of my other videos, like he has a really hard time getting this on properly where I don't feel like the baby's about to fall out. <laughs> He's right there, he's shaking his head, he agrees. Um, anyway, this one's really easy to also to get on. It's a little more um, like long, long-term wear because the weight's more evenly distributed over the shoulders and rather just like one shoulder. Um, but yeah, this one's really cute. I don't know, I can't remember, I'll have to, I'll put on the screen the weight because this is kind of more for like little babies. You can't put this one on your back. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is another expensive baby carrier item that is completely worth it. I love this. Baby carriers, love them both. Okay, this isn't like the most expensive baby item, but it's one you're gonna be repurchasing over and over again, diapers. So I have been a Pampers girl always. All of my kids wear Pampers. So um, I've always used Pampers Swaddlers. They are so soft on the inside and like comfortable. And when they're little bitty, first home from the hospital, they have like that little spot for like the umbilical stump and everything. So this is what we've always used for all of our kids. Now, most recently we were at Walmart and I saw that you could get a box 
a massive box that they don't offer at Kroger. And so I bought the massive box and I bought them in baby dry rather than swaddlers because these are less expensive. We Googled the difference in them and basically these are just like for more sensitive skin and I don't like these. I literally had to bathe him after he first got up this morning because he pooped all up his back. He has blowouts in these every single time he poops in one of these. They are not as soft on the inside. Like apparently they're supposed to be just as absorbent as these. I don't find that to be true with pee maybe, but with poop, oh my Lord, he has blown out of every single one of these. Every baby is different. Every baby is shaped different and all that kind of stuff. But I would say for the most part, I've gotten a lot of people who agree with me when I posted about this on Instagram. Baby dry for the birds. We're going back to swaddlers. <laughs> Worth the money. Okay, next item, which was another big ticket item for us, is the first thing I bought for him was this bassinet. It's the Ebelor Sleep. I got it off of Amazon. I saw it in someone else's baby haul video and I just thought the colors and everything were so beautiful. Mwah. It like, you can leave it up like this and you can pop the this down. Um, this bar comes off really easily and lays down so you can pull it all the way up to the edge of your bed and it's like way easier to reach in so you're not having to boot, do it up and over just like a slide right out situation. And you can also raise the height. Please here and lower it or raise it up very easily. Um, but I will say I wouldn't buy it again. There's nothing wrong with the way it functions as far as like keeping the baby safe and like the size of it and everything, but it has zero storage. Something I didn't think about um, ahead of time was that there's nowhere to like put extra diapers and wipes or whatever that's not basically draping it over the side which is not the safest so yeah love i like this i think it's beautiful but i would probably need to think more function over how pretty it is next time because in the middle of the night who cares what it looks like you need somewhere to put your diapers okay last thing i was going to show you is my graco modes nest travel system i absolutely love this stroller and when shopping for a stroller i have a lot of requirements to fill, I have, I'm a mom of four, so I needed like all the bells and whistles with one fell swoop of a purchase right in the get-go instead of upgrading to a different stroller later on and only getting one that your car seat could click into. I got this one that does both. So right now this got the regular like toddler seat on it, which also lays back into like a bassinet style. Um, but you can also clip that entire seat off and just pop in your car seat, um, from the car. I'm gonna fold it up and show you like a full how to use this thing because when I was shopping for one of these, I had to like scour the internet to have someone show me how to do, how to like adjust it all and how it moved before I bought it. I wanted to know all that stuff. So hopefully you find this helpful. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it down like I'm getting it out of the car. Okay, bam, super lightweight, super easy to get in and out of the car. I mean, I can hold it with one hand if I had to, but when do you remember to do that? Okay, so here we go. It's got one little latch right here on the side. This is how you unlatch it to um, open it. Open here, lay it down, pop it up. Then you can adjust where, how high you want your seat to go. I always just drop it all the way to the bottom when I'm putting my car seat in it, just so, cause it's easier to make sure it's even if I drop it all the way down. We're gonna pretend like this is my car seat because it's in the car. Pop this seat on. There you go. This bassinet seat though is the best thing. So you can raise this up. There's a slide on each end. You just squeeze and you can slide it toward you or away from you. And like you saw earlier, you can have it face out or face this way. This is massive, which is awesome. One of the ones I had with one of my other kids, um, it never actually shaded their face. So this is a really big canopy and it's uh, super nice. Now, one of the coolest things about this, is this can this seat converts into a bassinet and you don't have to take it off to do that. You can do that while your kid is already sitting in it and buckled in with like three adjustments. So let me show you. We'll start back here on the back of the seat to get it to be sat all the way up like it is. Right here, there's a string that hangs down. Let me lower you. There's a string right here and a latch. So you'll squeeze that latch and pull all the extra out. 
that gives you a, like a reclined seat and you can just let them sit reclined like that if you want them to sleep that way. Uh, if you want to lay it all the way back, you're going to also reach right here, pull it up, and that tilts the whole seat down flat. The last adjustment is right here, the bend in the leg. There's a snap under here. You find that and unlatch it, push down. Now you have a bassinet. Isn't this amazing? Now you're like a British pram person, and I just think this is so cool. Pull that forward, got lots of shade. Again, you can turn that the other direction if you want to. I don't know why you would, but you could. Um, and there you go. And you can do that while they're already buckled into the seat, that you can do all those adjustments. And then just as easy to do it back. I like to start with this one. Grab here, tilt it up. Grab this extra uh, slack pinch here. Push and pull this string. So now that's like in the fully sat up mode and then to pop the seat back up you just grab this here and here and snap it on and there you go back to how you had it three little quick adjustments and you're back to a standard stroller seat um, and the best thing about this which is one of the biggest things i needed in a stroller was the amount of space down here like the storage is incredible that's one of the biggest things i get complimented slash asked about by other moms when i'm out with this is how much storage space there is down here i have three other kids and you know we as moms we end up carrying everybody's crap so my giant diaper bag and everyone's coats and water bottles and all the things fit in here ever so nicely. And I've even done like mini grocery shops um, with this. I pop my kid in a stroller and we go in and grab a couple things from the store. No need for a cart because who's got the hands for all of that? Um, this has been like incredible. Um, it was a big ticket purchase, but they're all expensive. And I would say if you're gonna get one, go ahead and get one that does all of the functions from the beginning rather than buying just the one you can pop your car seat into and then upgrading later on. Like for us, it made more sense to do it all in one. So let me show you how to fold it up and then that's it. Pop your seat off. Grab your handles, pull it for you. There you go, done. Car seat folded. Pop that right in the back of the car. I love it. I think it's worth every penny and I would highly recommend. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found any of these things that I reviewed helpful or just, you know, maybe you can check it off your list because now you know it's not what you want or you're like, yes, primo, exactly what I needed. Thank you so much for sharing. If you didn't find it helpful, maybe just slightly enjoyable. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.